Hey booktube, it's Swim Like a Bird here. So this is a book review, warning, fair warning, spoiler alert. I am so glad and excited, I was gonna put those words together, <laughs> excited. I am so glad and excited that my newbie tag video um, got some comments and some views. I feel so happy about that. Thank you so much for people commenting and I've definitely checked out your channels and I will um, hopefully we'll get to you know interact with each other and get into that community I was talking about in my newbie tag video. I am here to talk about the book that I was reading for October for my book club and that is The Life and Times of Michael K by J.M. Koitsi? I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce his last name. He's South African. Um, and he's won the Nobel Prize for his other books. I'm a little behind, well by a little behind, I'm only about halfway through the book and I plan on reading the other half of it this weekend, hopefully today, then I'll be interacting with my book club. I wanted to do a video about this because this book has been so interesting. It reminds me quite a bit of another book that I read years ago called The Sound of Waves by Yukio Mishima. This book and The Life and Times of Michael K are very sweeping landscape type books but in a very intimate way. In The Sound of Waves it's set in a fishing village in Japan and so the, the waves hitting the rocks are described and the air and the way that the water kind of goes through in streams and when it rains you get a very descriptive feel and it's like you're there. Um, the same thing is happening with The Life and Times of Michael K. You get these little descriptions, like these minute descriptions of things that are happening, like he climbs a mountain and it's the smell that he like hits him when he's around certain things and the way that the sun crawls towards the cave that he's in or He's walking through the countryside and he climbs over a fence and the field that he goes into is just open and expansive and he digs out um, vegetables and eats them and like just different things like that. It's, it's interesting because it's like everything is grand but nothing is and everything is sacred in its own right but nothing is worshipped. And I find it so interesting the like everydayness of the way these books are written and how things are described and how people are uh, go about their lives and the things that they're doing. The Life and Times of Michael K is set in, I, I believe it's just the beginning of the Civil War in South Africa. Um, it may be a little while into the Civil War. I'm not exactly sure what the time frame is supposed to be. One thing that I find fascinating about this book is that not so far, halfway through the book, so far not a single person's skin color has been mentioned, but you know. Not once has someone been described as the black person or the dark person or the white person or the light skinned person or anything like that, but you know who it is and it's so interesting that you can intrinsically know something like that without it being stated. This book is just heartbreaking and it really makes me question what we value as humans because there are things that Michael values like being able to sleep being able to be alone, having space to plant a garden, things like that. And the things that we would think he would value, like money, 
or property. It's just those aren't important because what he wants is the ability to do what he loves. That's what he values. We all value that. We want to be able to do what we love, whatever it is. This book is just so heartbreaking. Everything in life is against him in this book. I am going to finish this book this weekend. And once I'm done with that, I have one more book that I wanted to finish in October, which I don't think I will, but if not, I'm going to complete it at uh, the beginning half of November. And that book is We Are Not Ourselves by Matthew Thomas. This book was recommended by Misha Collins back, I think, right before it was released or just shortly after it was released. He and his wife read it and um, they just fell in love with it. I actually don't know anything about it, which makes me excited because I love going into things completely unspoilered. I'm excited to get to read this and finish up The Life and Times of Michael K. But once I'm done with those, I am actually looking to do a tag video or some sort of um, like challenge video. I'm not sure where to find the monthly ones for booktube, so if you know where to find them or you know what they are, go ahead and link me below in a comment. I'm excited to get into this. If I don't find one, I have a challenge for myself that I've set up and I might just do that if I don't either hear about one by next week or if I like mine better <laughs> and I am just happy to get started in this booktube channel feel free to keep commenting like subscribe let me know what you do on your channel and I will see you next time